so I'm not gonna talk about this too much and like I'm in a weird mood um, before I talk about this so maybe I'll like think about it talk about it and then whatever so Kim Kardashian as a child the child is super humbling she always points out the obvious things that we've noticed about the Kim and Kanye situation but she's the output of that and the society has this kind of underlying connective view about how north the child is humbling Kim and I think that's so gross that society has like sat there and said a child is humbling their parents they're like this is just one of those things that I feel that an awakened person has nothing to benefit from their their parent being humbled there's nothing to benefit unless there's something very sinister or someone else is benefiting from their parent being humbled and this is someone who grew up with an alcoholic parent and like a neighboring mother um an interesting dynamic where like we were blessed and had a lot of things but like a lot of things does not mean happiness and i think i was born in a generation where like external is no longer going to be the measurement of happiness it's like are you actually happy and that's just going to be it like are you actually happy that's going to be happiness but like this situation with kim and kanye used to disturb me because everyone used to say like oh north is there to humble kanye and kim and i just didn't resonate with that mostly because that's not how i would want my child to grow up and i've grew up in that kind of household where everyone praised my parents for the accomplishments they had and it like it felt like i had to humble them and it felt like there's nothing behind humbling somebody like that's the thing the only thing about humbling somebody is the pride you get that you humble them there's nothing behind it internally nothing nothing i swear to god there, now there's some people who humble people and they feel really go good but like in my universe um there's no scarcity so a child can do that and it's okay but a person who's free willed it's disturbing if you do it but it's even more disturbing of society rewards somebody who does that humbles people and you can humble whoever the fuck you want you're gonna do it no matter what but I want to talk about how much time you just wasted humbling somebody and this is um, it's something embarrassing so th the rich one thing that marks the rich no matter what the billionaires the trillionaires there's trillionaires out here like the billionaires like those people what marks them what like what takes our breath away that makes us like respect them and like no matter what industry they're in like you just like whoa what marks them is that they don't fucking waste their time and this need to humble people is a need to be seen as an ultra rich person which by doing the shittiest route there um if you like to humble people that's fine like if you like to like create that environment that's fine um plenty of people know how to live that and actually so many people know how to make your ego so fulfilled while you lie to yourself so one of the things about this universe is that the universe will gladly let you lie to yourself it's, a, it's the most fucked up thing i've ever seen god do it will just allow lying to yourself and um no <laughs> i don't want to lie to myself i assume that you don't want to lie to yourself like that's not what i'm gravitating towards um so another thing is that social media will make me feel guilty for um I'm not even saying something up 
opposition is just saying what is so they'll come for me for politics or like government stuff and I don't talk about that because people um have you ever have you ever met someone who just loves yelling you're like why are you yelling at me I didn't even do anything but yeah they're yelling at you because it's easier to yell at you than go into their trauma easier so all of this showed me that um People will create the reality that they want, and I'm just an observer of it. And anyways, um, I live in a world where I just don't subscribe to any of that. I just really, truly believe, I truly believe that humanity is a vicious, or we're animals that were never taught how to be animals and humans. And so, um... We were just given a Bible and said, follow this. We are li- given a Quran, follow this. Uh, any scripture, holy scriptures, and said, follow this. And like, no one asked us individually, how do we feel? Our parents never even made that comfortable. They, our parents assumed our feelings based off of their feelings. And so... What if you didn't ignore your, the feelings behind that and just a little bit crazy, but not stupid, crazy? Um, 